So, is it the rate or the place of stimulation that conveys our sense of pitch? Because of the mechanics of the bacilla membrane, the two parameters are strongly correlated in normal ears. However, measurements have been made on people who use cochlear implants to provide them with hearing that they've lost. Here, both contribute. At low stimulation rates, perceived pitch is roughly proportional to the log of the frequency, as we'd expect. However, the place is important too. At high frequencies, the effect of stimulation rate saturates and only place makes a big difference. Now, normal ears are much more complicated than these prostheses and they perform better too. As well as having many more electrical channels, they also have active nonlinear elements. The outer hair cells can exert forces on the bacilla membrane, increasing the ear's sensitivity and also its frequency resolution. Finally, listen to this series of pulses. At low rates, we hear separate clicks, like a metronome giving the tempo. As we increase the frequency, however, we gradually lose the sensation of separate clicks, and instead we hear a pitch, which is determined by the log of the frequency. It's an interesting observation that the difference between tempo and pitch, two of the key elements in music, is an arbitrary one imposed by the speed of our nervous system.